In this video, we'll take a look at some of the 3D work within ArtCam, which are commonly known as reliefs. And I'm going to be creating this applique. Now I'll just turn off the vectors visibility for a moment so you can see the relief that we're creating. Now, if you want to turn off this flat plane, you can do that by selecting here for draw zero plane. So you're just left with the relief. And if you want to reset the relief, so basically delete whatever's there, you can select here to reset the relief. And I can turn on the vectors. So I'm just left with these vectors that I have. Now the first thing that we're going to do is to create the center. And we're going to do that by using the most commonly used 3D relief tool within ArtCam, which is called the Shape Editor. And that's located here, which is this blue pyramid icon. The shortcut for that is F12. When you open that, you'll get a real time preview. So you'll actually see how it's going to look. So if you select, let's say square, change the angle, you'll get a preview in real time. So you can see exactly how this is going to look. If I select round, let's say, let's make that let's say 90 degrees. Let's add a start height so you can add a flat to this. So let's do that, let's say five millimeters and then select apply and that will create it. And then you can either close that or select cancel and you can exit the tool. Now what we're going to do is to create all of the area for the petals. And we're going to do that using another relief creation tool called the spin tool. And that's located in this fly out menu here. Now when you select that, it will ask you for a start profile. And the start profile is going to be this one here. And it's just basically going to sweep this around 360 degrees. So if I click select, you can see that that's swept that through 360 degrees. Now, if I rotate that around, I don't really want that to look like that. I want it to be a bit higher let's say around here. Now you can see that I'm getting this weird effect here on the underlying relief. Now that's because I'm actually adding to the top of this and I want to blend it in. So what I need to do is select merge high and that will blend in. What I'm going to do is just use this as I would nodes. Okay, so I can delete nodes, I can do anything that I would do when creating a node. So all of this works in real time. So I can actually see how this is going to look prior to actually creating it. rotate round to have a look at that. That looks okay. When you're happy with that, select apply. And then you can close the tool. Now you'll notice that I've got all of these petals on the outside. That's so I can basically trim off the area and create this shape. So if I select the petals, I can use this option here, zero inside vector, that will remove any area inside the vector, like so. Obviously, I don't want to do that. So what I need to do, is select the drop down and select outside vector. And that will trim outside of the vector, like so. So you can see that I'm left with this shape. Now, if I wanted to, I could add some more detail to this. And I've actually got those vectors set up on different vector layers. So if I open up the vector layers, you can see that I've got detail and I've also got outside parts. So if I go to detail, turn that on and I can right click on that and select all vectors. And then what I'm going to do is open up the shape editor and I'm going to do a round and I'm going to subtract that. So I'm going to basically do it as a negative. So it's basically dished in and then select apply. Now, if you're unsure what this actually looks like, you can turn off the vectors. 
whilst you're doing Git. Okay, so if I close that, you can see that it's added all of this detail. The outside parts, let's turn those on. And these are basically just bits that I want to cut out. So if I select all of those vectors, open up the shape editor, let's turn off the vectors. And again, I want to have these going into the relief now I'm not bothered that this is coming over the edge here I'll sort that out later so select apply and then let's turn on the vectors and again I'm going to select the petals and I'm going to zero outside of the vector to get rid of all of those I can then turn off the vectors and if I wanted to to get rid of any of these harsh edges here I can actually smooth the whole of the relief I can do that by selecting here for smooth relief just move that out of the way so you can see and you can just keep on pressing apply just keeps on adding one smoothing pass or you can select as many as you like so I'll select apply you can see that it's just smoothing out the relief. If you want to, you can add the zero plane back on, and there you have your finished relief.